Next stop, Capitol Reef National Park. Cassidy's childhood home. Alright. I can't imagine what it was like to live here. It's chilly out right now, and with no insulation. Very neat. It is a beautiful day today. I am uh, just leaving Hanksville, which is a little town I'm staying in just outside of Capitol Reef National Park. It's about 30 miles outside of the park uh, to the east. Driving back to the park today, the plan is to hike the Grand Wash Trail to the Cassidy Arch Trail. I believe it's going to be about eight miles round trip. It's just a day hike today. But I saw this beautiful butte here on the way into the park and I just wanted to stop and show it to you. It's just amazing how it's standing out there all by itself and it's, it's huge, it's absolutely huge. Just gorgeous. There's also this pretty spectacular mountain range across the road. I don't know what mountain range that is. I'll try to find out. I gotta say, one of the huge pros of having a rig is whenever I need to use a ladies room, all I gotta do is pull over and jump in the back. <laughs> The Fremont River, I've been following it for several miles now. It runs through the park. And there's my baby. There's some more of that pastel blue-gray that's in the rock walls, just like I saw in Coyote Gulch. This is my first time visiting Capitol Reef National Park. I haven't actually spent a whole lot of time in Utah in general. Last year was my first backpacking trip here in Utah, in uh, Death Hollow out of Escalante. And now I've been here almost 20 days. I've uh, gone back to Escalante and did my Coyote Gulch backpacking trip and visited Zion and did some day hiking there. And now here I am in Capitol Reef National Park. There has actually been a lot of weather here in Utah since I've been here. So it's limited the amount of hiking I could do. And in fact, it rained yesterday and several days prior to that. So this is our first nice day in uh, probably about a week.
Some beautiful wild sunflowers out here on a gorgeous sunny day. I'm coming into this section called the Narrows, and I'll show you some other hikers just to give you perspective of the size of this. It is Saturday, May 25th. It's Memorial Day weekend, 2019. And surprisingly, there aren't that many people here in the park. I'm really happy about that. I got a parking spot and I've only passed a few groups on the trail. It hasn't been bad at all. Wow, check out those spires. This is a really pretty view. Just ran into a couple here from Australia and they said that Arches National Park actually stopped people from going in because it's been so busy during the Memorial Day holiday. So I, apparently I made a good call coming here. Look at all the colors in here. Just gorgeous. Looks like Neapolitan ice cream. Seriously, this is just freaking beautiful. Okay, I'm making my way up to Cassidy Arch. Let's see how far I've come already. This is what the terrain's looking like. Steep switchbacks, some steps. Really pretty. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Just look at this view. I'm so glad I'm here. Just found this on all trails actually. I knew nothing about the park and just did a little research last night and here I am. Fern's Nipple. You can see why they named it Fern's Nipple. Cassidy Arch. There it is. So beautiful, you can probably see the people hiking around on top of it. They look very small, so you can kind of gauge the perspective of the size. I'm going to go over there. don't know what I'll be able to see from on top, but I'm going to check it out. This looks like a bristle cone. Not sure if it is, but definitely looks like one. Very cool twisted branches. Now I'm on the other side of the arch and we've got some people getting ready to rappel. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. Glad I came all the way up here. Now to hike back down. I've gone 4.8 miles to get here. And that's backtracking a little bit to get my camera, but uh, yeah, so a little over four miles to get back to my rig. As I'm hiking back to my rig, I've been reflecting on the first 25 days on the road and you know, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. If you're new to my channel, I, at the beginning of May, hit the road full time. I bought myself a rig, a slide in truck camper, and a truck. And I've been on the road now for 25 days. You can go back and uh, check out some of the videos to see kind of my journey getting here. But uh, yeah, so I've been reflecting. And it hasn't all been sunshine and roses, that's for sure. There's definitely been some ups and downs and I've dealt with some challenges. I'm a little bit further down the road. I had to uh, stop the camera. I ran into a pocket of people. They might think it's a little strange me talking to my camera, but I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, so it's not that I didn't expect challenges. I uh, definitely did. I knew there would be. Um, however, there were quite a few, you know, very early on, and I've made some stupid mistakes that have, you know, caused me some grief and made my life a little bit difficult, but, I was kind of hard on myself and uh, was reminded by some friends and family that my life is completely different. I have a whole new life. I don't have the structure that I had before. And yeah, it's a whole different experience when you know, you're know you kind of trying to figure out where you're gonna sleep every night and where you're going next. And, and then with the other you know issues with truck and camper and things that I have going on that are a little bit stressful. Um, yeah, I just need to cut myself a break. However, you know, I've also had some amazing times that are exactly how I imagined this life would be. And, you know, that was on my backpacking trip and my trip to Zion with my best friend Julie. And then a day like today and even the road trip driving in here yesterday. You know, I imagined being on the open road and just all the gorgeous and new scenery I was seeing and small towns and yeah and then I know it's all worth it and I know it will smooth out eventually so let me tell you a day like today makes it all worth it.